Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Sunday, September the 18th. The year's 2022. Let's talk trading. Weekly open and gap. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. So, going to the weekly chart, you can see that all the gaps have filled according to the dashboard here. It looks like everything gapped down. And the pound filled the gap, but is now six pips below the weekly open, 10 off the low and 38 off the high. If we take a look at the monthly chart, you can see we're red, 218 pips, now 220 below the monthly open. We're putting in the opening range for the week right here. Right now, it looks like we're about 47, 48 pips in range. And we're 51 pips off of that yearly low. And we are 200, I'm sorry, 2,126 pips below the yearly open. I, I just, it just seems to get worse and worse. Um, somebody was saying that maybe the pound was going to go to par so you could buy a pound for a dollar or a dollar for a pound I and mean, that's what we kind of saw in the euro recently even though i think the euro's up above that level right now no it's right back near par just slightly slightly below i think the last time i checked it was 10022 today inside bar action not much. There's a handful. So far today, we have an inside bar, but the day is only seven hours long. So we still have the London session and the New York session to get through. So we'll see what those traders have to do with the pound. So I mentioned 48 pip range. No range is over 100, which means that we won't be doing the rat zone, but the buy zones in effect. You can see we had a long trigger that first hour and it paid off either second, third or fourth hour. Then we had a weekly open cross that moved right through the uh, short zone and we're back in the short zone. Possibly looking to get to the open of this bar, which is 1386 because that kind of looks like a return bar to me. So let's just see what happens. I make these, uh, I guess you could call them predictions, but I'm just looking at the uh, chart, looking to see what most likely would happen from a st statistics point of view mainly because I'm looking at this big bar here and where is that open show me the open 113.89 so let's see if it wants to fill this bar or return to this open on that return bar pivots Bambino Flex is saying go short Near the pivot goes short, and that's already paid off. Now you can see we haven't hit the weekly pivot, but we have filled the daily pivot, and we're 437 pips away from the monthly pivot, so it doesn't look like that's gonna get filled anytime soon. In and out of that lower wick zone, we're back into it right now. And of course, the range isn't even moving the needle so far. But once again, we had a big week last week. So maybe this week, I don't think there's any big news coming out. So we might have a uh, inside bar put in this week. We'll just have to wait and see what happens.
long mall lines. Even though this isn't the best time to trade them, there was still some trading near the beginning of the Asian session. Taking trades at Walmart lines would have netted you some pips. Looks like uh, things are dying down right before the London traders hop on. We've had a couple of three balls put in. We just crossed the double O here. So let's just see how far down they want to take it. We're only 13 minutes into the hour. Oh, and for those who have donated, I sent out uh, batch indicators, the flip-flops. I know Walmart and I have been talking about flip-flops a lot. So um, I just thought that you traders might like to see and have those flip-flop indicators in your arsenal in case you wanted to investigate trading flip-flops. And we haven't moved the needle on the monthly range yet. Or I'm sorry, on the on the yearly, no, on the monthly range right here, but this is accumulated for the year. And let's see what the uh, trade reminder is basically saying the same thing it's been saying for the past few months. Uh, everything is down. And the whole uh, idea behind that is sometimes you can get so focused in on a trade on a one minute chart, you kind of forget to look at the big picture. So this is just an indicator that you can have on your chart or one of your charts just to remind you to take a look and see what's going on from the big picture. Because I notice sometimes I definitely can tunnel in. Because if I sit back, literally sit back in my chair, I look, I, I can see things, you know, especially, say, on a five-minute chart. Okay, why is that acting weird? So, for example, I could just see here that looked like a return bar. Sure enough, price came back to it. right there so you can see how price put in a low start to put in higher lows higher highs and basically was kind of ranging for what one two three four five hours but actually this if i'm not mistaken was on uh oh this was today um so then i just play for that return and then this bar here that's only a four pip bar but just looking at the chart it's almost like you can see the uh from here to here there's an imbalance so price probably wants to come back down and take care of that imbalance but i can only see those like that when i pretty much have almost a blank chart or very sparsely populated with some horizontal lines and then I can just, you know, analyze. But if I'm focused on the trade, I might only be looking at a couple of candles right here and not be looking at the overall picture. So sometimes when you get out of a trade, you know, we talk about pre-trade routines, but what about post-trade routines where you actually think uh, about what you just did, what just happened, maybe you're journaling your trades um but do you go through something post-trade um i know i usually don't um usually if it's been a you know a quote-unquote easy trade where you went in it never really uh challenged my stop loss then i'm thinking okay yeah that's a good trade and i i pretty much don't even really think about it just looking for the next trade but 
the thing about looking for the next trade is sometimes you get over anxious and maybe you just need to stand up, stretch, look at something other than the screen, come back, sit down, then look at the screen with quote unquote some fresh eyes and you might see something. But chances are you're probably afraid you're going to miss an opportunity if you do that. And you just might, but you know what? There's opportunities pretty much all day long. So, so what if you miss one? I mean, right now we could be playing the 114 double O, be good for a couple of pips. So if you're, you know, trading, what, four lots of pip, uh, right there, you probably just put 100 bucks in your pocket. But I know most traders probably um, don't trade that heavy on these forums. And they're probably trading maybe four mini lots as opposed to four um, lots. So as you can see here, just looking at it, if price breaks this level, it's going to then challenge this level. And if it breaks there, who knows, it might try and go back to that pivot. But once again, putting in a strong effort, if you look left here, how many times it's pushed up from this area. So that would have been a nice little range play. I don't really remember if there was any questions. There was a trader that wanted me to do a video on, let me think, I have to remember, so might do that for them tomorrow. I'll have to look up and see what they wanted me to do a video on. They were asking about, I think it was, I don't remember if it was a method per se, um, or if it was an indicator. I know somebody asked about the holo, but and somebody else asked about a different method. But this is the this is time for the weekly opening gap, but I'll definitely get to that, make a video for that trader this week. Yeah, and if you know if some of you traders have ideas um, that you want me to do a video on or questions you really want answered or something you want me to go in a little more depth on but I think I've put out over the years a couple thousand trading videos so you might be able to find what you're looking for and if not you know don't hesitate to ask so you see here price stalled so it actually opened with a slight gap down on that chart, you can see it filled the gap, came back right there. It's like, take your money off the table. So if you'd gotten in at the double O cross, you'd be out with almost four pips. Not a bad trade in five minutes. And then you just go and you just look for the next trading opportunity. And just in case you're, you're wondering, these are the indicators on the screen. The horizontal lines are put in by the high-low indicator. Let's see, Bambino Flex on the daily is saying to go long at the pivot. So, fellow traders, I hope you had a fun, safe weekend, and I wish you uh, profitable trading for the week coming up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please click the like button. And if you're uh, one of the Reddit um, traders out there, it would be nice um, if you could give me some more positive karma. And I just remembered, they wanted me to talk about the uh, highest low, lowest high. So remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the bank.